Hi, this is Logan with Nas Solar Electric, and today we're going to check out the Pites E-Box Lithium Battery. Uh, the Pites battery is a relatively new addition to our product catalog. So far, we've been super impressed with their performance, and they've become really, really popular for a number of different battery applications. So let's take a closer look. So the Pites lithium batteries can be used in a number of different applications, systems like off-grid, grid-tied, uh, battery backup ESS are all applicable for a battery like this. The Pites is a really, really good quality battery for a fantastic price. Um, it's, it's our most competitively priced battery in terms of dollar per kilowatt hour. Uh, what's really cool about these, as you can see, we've got one on the table here. It's kind of a server rack style format, uh, very easy to maneuver and, and move around as needed. Uh, this can be mounted in pretty much any orientation, flipped over on its side. It can be mounted on end like that. Uh, what's nice about these is because they are so compact and small and maneuverable, the very, very modular design. So in terms of, you know, starting small and adding more batteries to your system over time, this is a really, really great option to do that. So now that we've had a little bit of an introduction to the Pites, we can kind of see what it looks like, the shape of it. Um, I'll talk about some of the specifications here really quick. It is a lithium iron phosphate battery. It has integrated BMS. It's a 51.2 volt nominal, so compatible with pretty much all 48 volt nominal equipment. The battery itself is rated at 5.12 kilowatt hours of total energy storage, which equates to about 100 amp hours of capacity. Uh, it has a half C or a 50 amp uh, maximum continuous charge and discharge rate as well as a 1C or around a 100 amp peak discharge rate for a limited amount of time for surge. So in terms of physical size, the Pites battery is about 24 and a half inches long, roughly 17 and a quarter inches wide, and it's only about four and a half inches tall. So again, very compact, slim form factor, sort of that server rack design that I mentioned earlier. Uh, each battery uh, weighs about 113 pounds on its own. So Pites backs their batteries with a 10-year manufacturer warranty, which is pretty awesome considering how competitively these are priced. The Pites batteries also have UL9540, 9540A certifications, UL1973, and they're also on the CEC, the California Energy Commission's approved equipment list. Now that we've defined some of the specifications and the capabilities of the Pites batteries, I wanted to point out some of the physical features on the battery itself. So most of what you'll be touching and interacting with on the battery is right here on the front face facing you here. Um, it's got a master power switch, a chassis ground lug. Right here, these are the dip switches that are used to set the specific communication protocol to match a particular inverter. Um, it has a start switch uh, that essentially takes the battery in and out of standby mode. We've got some basic LED indicators here, an alarm light, a run light, state of charge lights. Uh, right here are our communication ports. So some of these would go from the battery to an inverter system. And then uh, the, the other pair here is used for battery to battery comms. Um, then we have the actual DC positive and DC negative power terminals. Um, they do have kind of a proprietary connector on the front of the battery, so it doesn't take bare cable or a normal ring terminal. Um, but they give you two sets uh, for each, for each um, polarity there, so you have two negative points, two positive points for your cables. Uh, something else that's kind of cool, you can see these little handles in the front here. Um, again, with the server rack design, you know, sliding this in and out of a cabinet. Those are pretty handy too. Pites has also put these handles on the side right here. There's two sets on each of the long side of the battery, so really easy to lift the battery up and maneuver it into place when you're installing. One of the related products to the Pites batteries we wanted to show in the video for a bit are the E-Box racks. So these are installed on uh, the front and the back of the battery. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to stack the batteries uh, in a tower, one on top of the other. These are a good option if you're placing the battery stack on the ground or on a shelf, any kind of a flat surface, these will work. Um, this does obviously 
keep the switches and wiring terminals of the batteries exposed. So usually when you're using the e-box racks, you'd have, uh, you know, for example, the batteries installed in a cabinet that's enclosed or maybe a dedicated equipment room, um, just so we don't have any uh, curious uh, fingers touching the uh, controls or the terminals on the batteries. So what we'll do really quick is we'll install the e-box racks on one battery. Um, again, there's a bracket for the rear side and one for the front side. Kind of show you how that's done and then we'll also uh, take a look at what a uh, stack with two batteries on top of each other looks like using the e-box racks as well. So we went ahead and unboxed a second Pites battery. Uh, we've got both of them stacked here on top of each other using their e-box racks. Uh, pretty easy to install and again, these let you basically floor mount or floor stack multiple batteries on top of each other. Uh, good option if you put them in a cabinet that you made or maybe you have them in a dedicated closet or an equipment shed. Uh, these are a pretty cost effective option for mounting the batteries. So I did also wanna to touch on what is included with each battery. Um, again, the e-box racks here that you see in front of me, those are, those are separate items. Those don't come with the batteries themselves. What you do get with each individual Pites battery is a set of wall mount brackets. Uh, they throw in a grounding, uh, chassis grounding cable, and then um, the battery to battery communications cable is included in the box and also battery to battery power cable. So all that stuff comes with each individual Pites battery. And again, the e-box racks that are here in front of the table, those are purchased separately. Uh, now in terms of other related products or compatible products with the Pites batteries, the first thing I did want to mention or reiterate again was their closed loop compatibility with uh, several popular inverter manufacturers like Solark, Victron, Focos, uh, all three of those manufacturers will communicate directly with the Pites batteries in closed loop, so it makes for a really seamless uh, installation, uh, maximizes your efficiency there with the communications. So Pites does offer several other options uh, that are available for storing or mounting the batteries. Um, a lot of those are fully enclosed cabinets or enclosures. Uh, they have their R-Box series, which um, is both indoor and outdoor rated. A uh, couple different models for those. They're, they are capable of holding either up to two or up to four Pites batteries. And then they have a larger enclosure that's called the Forest RB, and that one can actually hold up to six batteries. Another relevant accessory from Pites to go along with their batteries is the Pites Battery Hub. That is a component which is required anytime you have eight or more Pites batteries in a common system. Uh, the hub is there essentially to better manage the battery to battery communications and also the battery bank to inverter system communications. Again, that's required, the Pites hub. Uh, you will need that anytime you have more than eight Pites batteries in a common installation. So last couple things I'll mention in terms of accessories. Um, the Pites battery to inverter cables. Uh, those are not included with the batteries. We do have those available as a separate item. Uh, basically, they come in a set, a uh, positive and a negative wire. Uh, they're about six and a half feet long, number four gauge. One of the ends of the cables has the special uh, connector that mates with the terminal on the battery itself. And then the other end of that cable is just a standard ring terminal you can land on a bus bar or on your inverter. When it comes to parallel connecting the batteries, uh, multiple batteries in a common install. Uh, you will of course need those battery to inverter cable sets that I just mentioned. Those are purchased separately. And then um, in terms of bussing the batteries together, we like to use um, a bus bar such as the Lynx Power In from Victron or the VBB series bus bars from Victron as well. There's several other options available out there too that'll work for that. So that's most of the related products and kind of common accessories that we typically use with the Pites batteries and in most installations. Uh, we'll include links to most of those items in the description of this video so you can take a look. So I hope you all enjoyed taking a closer look at the Pites E-Box lithium batteries. If you have any questions on the Pites batteries or are curious about using batteries in a system of your own, 
give us a call, send us an email, chat with us online. Our engineering and design team can assist with equipment selection, system commissioning, plan set generation, and much more. NAS Solar Electric is here to help you plug into solar. Be sure to check out the Learning Center on our website for more information and subscribe to our YouTube for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.